Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this liquid fluid design. I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but you'll be making basically these types of figures that you see right up here. So let's begin. I have an artboard that's about 800 pixels by 800 pixels and we want to start by drawing a shape that has actually no fill and a white stroke like that. And we're going to use our pencil tool by pressing N. If you double click on it right here, you want these settings. So a pencil tool that's between accurate and smooth on the fidelity. You want to keep selected and the rest of the settings just like this and press OK. Now all you got to do is kind of click and draw a bubbly type of shape like this. Like that. The only thing you want to avoid is you don't want any sharp points. But it really doesn't matter what the shape is going to look like. Like that. Let's try that. And then once you get close, let go. And there you have your shape like that. Okay. Now we're going to give our shape actually a fill. Like that. And press G and apply gradient to it. And we're going to make the gradient go from red, standard red. And if I click on this point, we go to uh, purple, something like that, or maybe a darker purple. And then we're just going to move this line a bit that direction like that. Okay, cool. Now to apply our effect, it's really simple. We're just going to make this a tiny bit smaller, like that. And then we go to effect then distort and transform and transform and this panel will pop up and basically this allows you to transform your shape into whatever you want we're going to scale it by about 105 vertically and horizontally and we go preview and you see that now it's created this extra shape right here and here you have the option of making copies and each time you want you make a copy it scales the new copy by 105 and you can just increase this by pressing up on your arrow. And it makes this effect that goes up like this, which looks really freaking cool. Now, the other thing we want to do is we also want to move this so it doesn't look like it's just expanding. And we're going to move it by maybe, let's say, two pixels. Let's see. Okay, it moves down to the right and two pixels down like that. Let's make it about three pixels down, maybe four. How about that? Great. And then we're also going to change the angle right here and we're going to change this by moving up simply like that and something like that now one thing you might find that if it doesn't look like this and these strokes are actually increasing all you have to do is unclick this box so if we click this you see how it gets a bit uh, brighter thicker you can disable that effect by just pressing this button right here it's up to you if you like it and press OK. And there you've created that shape. Now, very quick extra effect. If we just copy this to here, move it down. You can also just get rid of the fill. Or actually, you can reverse the fill like that. So we get rid of the fill, we apply to the stroke, and then we just give it a thicker stroke. And it gives you a really cool kaleidoscopic effect. That's all there is to it. So I hope you like this tutorial, um, experiment, have fun, check out some other things and uh, comment, like, subscribe, check out our other videos and of course, as always, have a great day.